Hello everybody, this is Jesus and me forever. Um, just wanted to say hello. Sorry for not posting anything yesterday. I've been kind of a little busy having a couple of nights where I couldn't sleep and so I worked all night and besides I needed to get some work done in the house. Um, three years ago I had decided to go back to college and it's like during that year not really much got done in my house and there's a lot of corners that are just piled with stuff and I'm trying to go through and clean that up get those piles out of the corners and put up or if I don't want it anymore say okay bye bye let's get rid of it so it's just it's taking a lot of time there's a lot of stuff in here that was just stuffed so it's like that's why I haven't been willing to show my whole house because I mean right now I'm still a little embarrassed by it and I've been trying for about two years to get it cleaned up and it's like it just seemed like I kept getting busier and busier and so I've kind of like okay you know this year this has got to be my focus and so that's pretty much what I'm doing now is I'm focusing on getting my house reorganized straightened up while trying to you know I, I've decided to start canning our leftovers instead of putting them in the fridge because nobody was eating them. So I'm staying up of an evening and canning those items, whatever we've got left over, because it's just easier. Um, my kids just weren't eating it and it's like this will give them a quick meal whenever mommy has to go to whatever meeting or you know if we need a quick meal before church or something. This will give us something that we can do a quick meal with. So. And I am very excited. I got something in the mail today. So I'm just like, whoa. It's like I've, I've um, used video programs before and done stuff just for us, you know. Um, nothing big. And I only had like trial versions, so I couldn't do a lot. But a friend sent me something today. So I want to open it up and show you guys. Well, I guess I'll have to do that in the next video. And so just stay tuned for the big reveal of what I've got. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited. That'll be probably my next video. Right now, it's the hissing that you guys hear in the background is one of the canning. I'm, I'm canning egg, uh, egg drop soup right now. So I'm, I'm learning. Homestead Tessie would be very proud of me. So would my grandmother, um, my, my grandmother Crockett. Uh, used to can or as I knew or grandma Kruger because my grandfather died before I was bo before I was born a year before I was even thought of and then she remarried another man um, because you know her, at that time their thinking was hey you know I still have kids to raise I need a man to help me so I mean that was just the time frame now I know women just do it on their own but my grandmother she she remarried had a wonderful husband great grandfather loved him sometimes he could be a little brusque because he was German but it's like he was awesome he was awesome and you know I hear other kids that you know weren't as didn't think he was quite as awesome as I did but I was one I would pushed myself on the people I you know I didn't know any better you know and it's like grandpa can I can I ride with you Grandpa, can I go do this with you? And so, you know, of course, what Grandpa can say no to granddaughter, even if it is by marriage. So, and I mean, he there was times where he didn't want me along. I knew it, but I tried to learn, and I'm glad I did because I have good memories. I mean, I rode with him in the combine and in the tractors, and you know, I'd follow him out to the, his tool shed and stuff. And so, I have a lot of good memories. But it's like I'm getting off on tangents again. That's that's me. But anyway, um, I've gotten a lot of stuff done. A lot of laundry. Um, I'd gotten the laundry down and all caught up. And daughter came home from college and brought a whole bunch of laundry. And I kind of set aside my laundry so she could do hers. So now I'm doing catch up with my laundry. Not too bad. I've gotten three loads folded and I've got about two more to go so I'm not doing too bad um, trying to think of anything else 
I, if God wants me to say anything else, he'll have to give it to me. Right now, um, I just, I'm so thankful. My husband was feeling very good today. So good that he went over and he did another, he did a lawn after he got off work, which surprised me and did it all by himself. Normally we go over and help him to do this lawn and he came home, he loaded up the tractor and took off over there and I'm like, do you want me to come? And he never said anything and so I'm like, okay. Sometimes he just wants, when people get sick, and this is for any of y'all out here who've never had anybody have a serious illness. Terry's grandfather went through it and Terry's now doing the same thing that I've noticed. And my dad did the same thing. Whenever you get a disease that's really life-threatening, those people want to keep their lives as normal as possible and keep pushing themselves because they know that if they don't push themselves, then that's when they give up and they want to let go of life. So I can understand where he's coming from and stuff. I just, you know, all I can do is pray that he doesn't overdo himself, you know, and, and I'm sure many people have had to do the same thing. Just pray that their loved ones don't overdo themselves. So, but Terry's doing real good. The kids are doing good in school. Um, I'm doing good getting things taken care of and getting excited about, you know, what's to come this year. I've already got, you know, several sub positions that I'm doing. I'm so excited. I love, I love the kids. I love subbing. So even though I didn't get a full-time job like I wanted, it's okay. You know, it gives me an opportunity to clean, finish cleaning my house, getting it in order. And it allows me to, you know, go and spend time with these kids that I've, you know, watched grow up. It's, it, you know, I love it. I love it. Um, we've got great kids. We've got great teachers. I know people complain all the time, but, you know, I'm there with them. I see what these teachers and kids go through. So, you know, I'm like, I, I love our teachers. And so, anyway, that's, that's neither here nor there. Some people love the teachers. Some people hate them. That's, hey, everybody's got their own thing that they like. Who am I to tell you what you like and what you don't like? Nope, not gonna do it. It's just like, you know, I've had people um, get on to me for how I'm doing my videos. I'm, I'm a random person. I go here, I go there. That's me. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch me. But maybe somebody will glean something from what I say. Maybe the Lord will drop something in this that somebody needs at some point. And that's all I'm doing this for. I'm letting, you know, these walks are not easy. Everybody has their own trials and tribulations. I'm no different than anybody else. I'm just, I'm actually going online and talking about it now. And when, when before I wouldn't do it. But God said it's time and I'm like, Okay, you're you're the boss. So whoever gleans something from this, praise the Lord. If you don't want to watch it, you don't like the way I'm doing stuff, you don't have to. I'm not going to be offended. I'm not going to be hurt. You know, that's your choice. That's between you and what you like. It, it doesn't matter to me. I'm thankful for the people that do watch. And I'm grateful that God keeps bringing people along. Because some it, you know somebody's getting something and that's what that's what's important you know I never asked to do this I mean I didn't ask God hey can I do this no he told me specifically start this vlog and I'm like but you know I don't like being in front of a camera you know I don't like hearing my own voice and he's like start a vlog God my house isn't done start a vlog. God, my kitchen is a disaster. Start a vlog. Okay, God. You know, and the rest is history. I asked my husband. He's like, well, if God's telling you to, I guess do it. So, that's why we're doing this. And it's, it's an awesome journey. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how God is moving 
And I pray that each and every one of you takes something away from this. You know, that's all that matters is if it's brought you a little closer to Jesus or made you laugh or whatever, I'm, I'm going to try and share some fun, you know, laughter moments. But I'm still learning a lot of this and I thank you guys for being there with me as I'm learning because sometimes we got to start somewhere and sometimes it's just hard because you know like so many others I don't like necessarily the way I look at times but this is me you know um, I've been heavy all my life my friends from high school and junior high and middle school and grade school all know I've, I've been a heavy person I'm a little bit heavier now than I was then but hey I've had four kids since then so like it, women if, if you're out there you know what I'm talking about and there's some women praise the Lord they can have a baby bounce back and they're skinny I don't have that high metabolism my metabolism is slow and so am I it takes me a while to get things done because my brain goes here there got laundry oh yeah I need to do this um, oh yeah I still need to do I still need to do some shredding of the chicken so I better get up there and get that done anyway y'all have a great day and have a blessed one thank you guys so much for listening and please post a comment say hi or something I would love to hear from some of you guys that are watching these so anyway bye bye have a great day